Hello my friend, happy to see you here and welcome back to my math class. In this video we are going to solve this interesting exponential equation a to the x plus 2 to the x equal to 130 and we need to find our x from this interesting exponential equation. So in this video we are going to solve it. So I hope you will enjoy this video. First of all, we have all different bases, as you can see, 8, 2 and 130. So nothing common between these numbers, maybe between 8 and 2 we can find the common like a common thing right here, but between 130, 2 and 8, this is really bad moment right here. But take a look closely, we have 8 and 2, as I told before, we can find one common thing right here, because 8 can be written as 2 cube. So I write it right here, so 8 can be written as 2 cube. 2 cube, which is really great, and then we will have the same basis. So 2 cube to the power x plus 2 to the power x equal to 130. Okay, this is our first step, and I hope you understand this step right here. Right now we need to know a really important power rule. If we have a to the power x raised to the power y equal to a to the power x times y. So we just multiply these, multiply these powers right here. So let's do this. Let's multiply this 3 times x, so we'll have like 2 to the power 3x plus 2 to the power x equal to 130. And I write this, uh, this expression right here, but I want to mention one really interesting moment. This expression, this rule, have a really interesting expression in the end, because we can write it as a to the power y raised to the power x. So as you can see, if you look closely, because of this multiplication, we can easily swap this, we can easily swap these powers. So in our case, we can easily swap this x and 3 right here, this x and 3 right here, and write it in this way, okay? So it will be like the same, it will be 2 to the power x, raised to the power, raised to the power 3, okay? I hope you understand this step, plus 2 to the power x equal to 130. So this is the rule of interchange. Of course we don't need this step right here, but I want to write it, I want to learn or remember this rule. We need to multiply it and moreover we can easily change change these powers, okay? So I hope you understand this step and we, we will continue this question. Right now we have 2 to the power x and we have 2 to the power x, okay? So the same thing, so it is really great because we can write a substitution right here, so we will have like let 2 to the power x equal to, for example, let's go with y, for example, y equal to 2 to the x. Then we have our equation and on the first side this is like cube equation and that's how it is. We will have like y cube plus y equal to 130. There are a lot of approaches, how can we solve this cube equation, but in this video I'm going to show you a really good and interesting, interesting approach. But first of all we need to get this uh, cube equation, right now we don't have it, we need to bring this constant from right to left. Let's do this. We will have like y cube plus y minus 130 equal to equal to zero. And right now we have cube equation. And I'm going to show you a really interesting and tricky approach right here. Take a look what I'm going to do. First of all, this 130, 130 can be written as 26 times 5. And in the same case, this y can be written as 26y minus 25y. So I just want to find this common 26 right here and right here. So let's change this element by this expression that I write right here. So we will have like, in this case, we will have like y cube. Instead of y I write this one, but let's write it as minus 25y. So let's change an order a little bit because of addition, yeah? Plus 26y. And the next one we will have like plus or minus 130. Let's write it step by step, equal to zero, okay? So I just change this y as minus 25y plus 26y. And right now let's let's write this, let's try to factor, let's try to group these elements right here. How can we group it? First of all, let's factor from here our y, from this expression in the beginning. So y in parentheses, we will have like y square y square minus 5, yeah? And the, with this expression right here in the in the end, so we can easily factor 26, so plus 26, and in parentheses y minus 5, yeah? Equal to 0. And right now I hope you understand why I write it in this way, because right now we can easily factor y minus 5, but with interesting moment right here we need to write this identity formula, so we will have like y, and in parentheses y square minus 5, sorry, 25, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course, yeah, y, y square, we will have like y square minus 5 square, this is our identity formula, plus 26, and y minus 5, yeah, one really interesting moment, because we'll have like square root of 5, and it will be a bad solution, yeah, so we have y minus 5, y plus 5, this is our identity formula, so y, in parentheses, y minus 5, and y plus 5, okay, y plus 5, plus 26, 
and in parentheses y minus 5. And take a look right now y minus 5 and y minus 5, we can easily factor this y minus 5 and we'll have really interesting expression. So I write this expression right here. So I write it right here, this expression. So we have y, or let's write it as y minus 5, we want to factor it. And in the second parentheses, we will have like y, y plus 5 and 26. Yeah. So let's write it in another parentheses. So we will have like y times y plus 5 and plus 26 equal to equal to zero. Okay, let's solve this expression. So we have y minus 5 right here. So in the beginning, let's try to multiply this one, this expression, we will have like y square plus 5y and plus 26 equal to equal to zero. Okay, and right now we factor this question. And let's look at it. Two parentheses equal to zero, then y minus 5 equal to zero. This is our first solution. And the second one y square plus 5y plus 26 equal to zero. So let's let's solve this quadratic equation real quick. What we will have? We know a discriminant formula equal to b square minus 4ac. And in this case, we will have like a equal to one, b equal to five and c equal to 26. Yeah. And let's plug in all of these elements inside of this discriminant formula. We will have like five square b square minus four times one times 26. It will be like 25 minus 104, which is equal to minus 79, which is less than zero. So we can easily say that no real roots, no real, no real roots. Okay, this is our right hand side. On the left hand side, we have very simple, very simple uh, equation right here. So y minus five equal to zero, then y equal to five. This is our solution. But one really interesting moment, this is our solution according to y, but we had a substitution. Two to the x equal to y, y equal to five. So what equation we will have? Two to the x equal to five. And inside of this question, we will find our variable that we need to find. And we will find our x. But how can we solve this equation? So I hope you understand that this is a log case, because if you take log on both sides, on the left hand side, on the right hand side, we can easily bring this power right here in the beginning. So as a result, we will have the next one x log two equal to log equal to log five. Okay log 5 is a constant and log 2 is a constant as well. So let's divide by this log, log 2 both sides. So x equal to log 5 over log log 2. And this is our answer. Of course, everyone can solve it using calculator right here. But let's find approximately a approximation of the, to this question. So we know a really interesting formula. So if we have this question right here, we can write it in another way. So we can write it as log five base of two. Yeah, so we can write it in this way or in this way, whatever you want in this way, in this way, we will have the same answer. So log five over log log two. And if you, you know, want approximation to here, we will have like 0 0.699 in our numerator. And in our denominator, I just want to look at it. Yeah, 0 0.301. And as a result, our approximately answer will be 2.30 which is our solution to this problem. And I'll write right here our answer. So our answer, if you're talking about x, if you wanted to write it in, in your exam, so a correct answer will be x equal to log five over log log two. I don't want, I don't know about your exams. So you need this approximation or you don't need about it, but I want to write it. So x approximately equal to 2.3032. But the correct answer will be, will be this one to this, to this question. Okay, this is my class about this question. A lot of interesting power rules right here, exponents rules. Let's look at it once more. So this is the first very important step. And this is the second really important step. Then you go to substitution, you have like cube equation right here. With this cube equation, the main thing is to factor. And uh, as you can see, the factor factorized into this question is maybe the more difficult part of this question, because when you do a factor right here in this moment, then you can easily solve left hand side and right hand side, because as always, this is a quadratic equation on the right hand side and a linear equation in on the on the left hand side. Then it's logarithm and we solve this solve this question. This is my approach. Of course, a lot of students, a lot of approaches to this question. And I will really ex excited to read your suggestion in the comment section. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your for your support. This is my solution to this question. Really interesting, and I hope you understand this explanation. But if you still have any question, write a question in the comment. I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematical adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.